In no particular order, here are a few of the best hidden destinations from around the world. Number 11. Salina Turda, Romania Lots of neat things have been built underground, but the Salina Turda located in Turda, Romania is probably one of the coolest. The Salina Turda is home to an underground theme park inside of the oldest salt mines in the world. The salt mines date back as far as the 17th century. After excavation stopped in 1923, it was used for everything from a cheese storage center to a bomb shelter. But it's been transformed into an underground amusement park. To get there, you'll need to go down about 400 feet. Once you're inside, you'll find everything from an amphitheater to a bowling alley to a lake with rowboats and even a Ferris wheel. As if that isn't fun enough, you can also enjoy a mini golf course and ping pong courts. Number 10. Navigio Beach, Zakynthos Navigio Beach, otherwise known as Shipwreck Beach, is an exposed cove located on the Zakynthos Island in the Ionian Sea in Greece. You may be wondering how it got its name and how exactly a ship ended up on one of those beautiful beaches in the world. To answer that, there are actually a few stories surrounding this place. One story suggests a ship once crashed and the sand built up around it, eventually creating a beach out of the shipwreck. Another story says that the Greek government placed the ship there on purpose just to attract more tourists. But the most exciting story is the quote, official story. In the 1980s, the ship was chased down by Greek officials as it had been suspected of smuggling alcohol and cigarettes into Zakynthos. During a storm, the captain lost control of the ship and ended up crashing into the cove. Why make up other stories when the real one is really good? Dubbed as the most beautiful beach in the world, this place is actually best viewed from the air. You can see it nestled between sharp cliffs. Approaching it from sea level almost causes it to lose its charm, but there are multiple viewing platforms on nearby cliffs that offer amazing views to anyone visiting. Number 9. Fingal's Cave, Scotland Let's be honest, what's more hidden than a cave, let alone a sea cave? Fingal's Cave is a sea cave on an uninhabited island of Staffa, Scotland. At 72 feet tall and 270 feet deep, this sea cave is absolutely stunning. Known for its natural acoustics, the cave has a large arched entrance and is filled with water from the sea. But what makes it really special are the huge hexagonal columns of basalt making up its interior walls. The cave was always a mysterious wonder to the ancient Irish and Scottish Celtic people, and the cave was also an important site in numerous legends. The cave apparently was sort of lost over a few generations and then rediscovered by naturalist Sir Joseph Banks in 1772. At the time of his discovery, there was a popular book named Fingal, an ancient epic poem in six books. Naturally, the cave was named after the book. Number 8. Antelope Canyon, Arizona You may be thinking, what? A hidden destination in the U.S.? But yes, there's still plenty of hidden cool places in the U.S. and Antelope Canyon stands out as a spectacular hidden hotspot. Antelope Canyon is a slot canyon located on Navajo land in Arizona. Antelope Canyon features two separate slot canyon sections casually known as the Crack and the Corkscrew. The canyon is best known for its smooth and curvy orange walls and the light beams that shine down between the walls at certain times of the year. The Upper Antelope Canyon is most likely the only place in the world where you have a chance of seeing sunbeams striking through the way that it does. In the past few years, the canyon has become an incredibly popular tourist attraction, but you do have to be careful. You can only visit the canyon through exclusive guided tours, mainly because the rain can flood the canyon in an instant. The crazy thing is that rain doesn't have to be falling on or even near the Antelope Canyon slots for flash floods to occur. In fact, there have been cases of rain falling dozens of miles away upstream of the canyons and flooding into them with very little notice. But despite the flooding, Antelope Canyon is certainly worth a visit. You'll just have to make sure you're being led by an experienced tour guide. Have any of you guys ever been? Let us know in the comments section. Number 7. Green Lake, Austria Set among the snowy, picturesque Karst Mountains, the Green Lake in Tragos, Austria is a fascinating destination. For the longest part of the year, visitors can walk around the lagoon and enjoy the landscape from a bench near the water's edge. When it's springtime, the snow melts and the lake floods, submerging everything around it. Trees, footpaths, benches, and bridges are all surrounded by the floodwaters. Gallons and gallons of clear water enter the valley and almost double the size of the lake. The lake has been very popular among divers who enjoy observing the green meadows in the lake's edge. The lake was named after the mesmerizing 
emerald green water, which has a comfortable diving temperature around 43 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit. The lake reaches a maximum depth of around 39 feet from mid-May to June, and is said to look the most beautiful at this time. In July, the water begins to recede and the lake returns to normal. But whether you visit in May, July, or even December, Green Lake is apparently one of those places that's completely worth it to visit. Number 6. Watamo Glowworm Caves, New Zealand The Watamo Glowworm Caves are located on the North Island of New Zealand. The caves are just about a three-hour drive from Auckland and offer one of the best glowworm experiences in the country. H hold on, glowworm experiences is a thing? The most common animals in the caves are, as you probably guessed, insects. A plethora of wildly strange insects call the cave home, including albino cave ants and the giant crickets. And the most famous resident is the glowworm. Adult glowworms are small, only around the size of a mosquito. Although glowworms can be found throughout the whole country, they're most often spotted in damp, overgrown places such as these caves. There are several small underground lakes in the cave that are home to the New Zealand longfin eels. Rumor has it that the best way to experience the magic of the cave is by taking a boat ride and passing under the starry sky. Yeah, that's going to be because of the glowworms. Number 5. Basilica Cistern, Turkey The Basilica Cistern is the largest of several hundred ancient cisterns that lie beneath the city of Istanbul, Turkey. The underground structure was commissioned by Emperor Justinian and built by the year 532. The Basilica Cistern is the largest surviving Byzantine cistern in Istanbul and it was built using 336 columns which were mostly salvaged from other ruined temples. It measures 453 feet by 213 feet, totaling around 105,000 square feet in area. This place is so huge that it could hold a whopping 2.8 million cubic feet of water. Each of the columns supporting the ceiling is 30 feet high, and all of them are arranged in 12 rows of 28 columns, each spaced 16 feet apart. Clearly, they were very precise in their planning. The cistern used to provide water for the main palace of Constantinople, as well as other important parts of the city. What was once filled with water is now virtually empty, with only a few feet of water lining the bottoms. Because of the amazing acoustics, musical performance are sometimes played here. Number 4. Huacachina, Peru Built around a small oasis surrounded by sand dunes, Huacachina is a unique village in southwestern Peru. Back in the 1960s, it was believed that the water had healing powers. As it became a very popular destination with rich Peruvians, houses and hotels began springing up all around the oasis. Known as the Oasis of America, the village serves as a resort for local families from the nearby city of Ica. It has also become a hotspot for tourists who love to sandboard since the dunes are so high. The village has a permanent population of only around 100 people, but it hosts to tens of thousands of tourists each year. Since the water stopped seeping into the lake in the 1980s, a plan to pump water from a nearby farm into the lagoon was developed. The process of artificially pumping water into the oasis began in April 2015. Ever since then, the water levels were raised as much as 9 feet. Number 3. Silfra, Iceland Silfra is a fissure between the North American and Eurasian tectonic plates in the Thingvellir National Park in Iceland. The rift was essentially formed in 1789 by earthquakes. The site at Silfra is right where two continents meet and drift apart about an inch per year. Silfra is the only place in the entire world where you can dive or snorkel directly in the crack between two continents. The fissure is shallow at the entrance points, but it descends to a maximum depth of 207 feet. Scuba divers and snorkelers are also attracted to Silfra because of its exceptionally clear fresh water. The rift offers an incredible visibility of hundreds of feet ahead. There are three main dive sites, but the most spectacular section is the cathedral, which is a 330 feet long fissure with visibility almost from end to end. If you're into diving, then this place should definitely make your bucket list. Number 2. Playa de Amor, Mexico Picture this. The sun is shining, there's a warm ocean breeze, and it's just you, a drink, and maximum relaxation. Well. All of that can become a reality at this secluded beach in Mexico. Playa de la Mor, more commonly known as the Hidden Beach, is located in the Marietta Islands just east of Puerto Vallarta. The Hidden Beach is one of Mexico's hidden gems. A natural marvel, the beach is completely engulfed by a cave with a massive opening at the top to let in sunlight. 
but it can only be reached by swimming or kayaking through a tunnel, making it all the more private. It's rumored that the hidden beach was created as a result of deliberate bombing by the Mexican government. The Marietta Islands have always been completely uninhabited, making them the ideal spot for military testing. In 2005, the beauty of the islands was finally acknowledged by the government, and the islands are now recognized as a national park, allowing for some conservation implemented, something that we won't complain about over here. Number 1. The Marble Caves, Chile The Marble Caves, also known as Cuevos de Marmol, are located on the General Carrera Lake in the Patagonian Andes. This unique geological formation sits in a lake shared by Argentina and Chile, and you can only reach it by boat. The caves are completely hidden from the coast and are only visible once approached on the water. There are three different structures, the cave, the chapel, and the intricate system of water-filled caverns called the Marble Cathedral. For more than 6,000 years, smooth formations were created on the marble by lake waves. Surprisingly, the marble itself isn't really that brilliant blue color you see in the pictures. It only gets that color because of the light reflecting off the water. Because of this, the marble caves change different shades of blue throughout the year depending on water levels and the season. Here's what's next. Rates Lima at an 82.14. This puts it on the higher end of the spectrum, almost the highest actually, because the scale goes from zero to 100. Zero being no crime, 100 being an absolute hellhole. As is often the case, Tourists who are not careful could fall prey to crimes of opportunity. So while there's